Hello everyone, I am Sonali Tanode, Assistant Professor of AIDS Department of All India Shishivaji Memorial Society Information Technology, Pune. Today we are going to discuss about the white box testing as well as black box testing. <coughs> so in this topic, we are going to discuss about the black box testing. Black box testing is a software testing method in which the functionalities of software applications are tested for black box testing. So knowledge of internal core structure is not necessary. So uh, next uh, one is the black box testing mainly focuses on input and output of software application. Initially, the requirements are and specification of system are studied in this testing. So tester chooses valid input, positive test scenario to check uh, whether uh, suit processes them correctly or not. Then uh, also some invalid inputs that is uh, negative test scenario also chosen to verify that that uh, the suit is able to detect them or not. Then BBT that is black box testing. Uh, software tester execute the test cases. Then software tester. Uh, compare the actual output with the expected output and hence decides uh, test cases in pass or fail. So fail test cases, uh, bug is raised and get fixed by developer and tested by tester or retested by tester. Then there are uh, different types of black box testing techniques. First is the equivalence, uh, class partitioning, then boundary value analysis, then decision table testing and state transition testing. These are the four types of black box testing. So equivalence class partitioning uh, due to time consideration, it is not possible to perform exhaustive testing uh, for each and every uh, input when input range is large. To overcome this problem, ECP or boundary value analysis technique is used. Equivalence class partitioning is a technique of software testing uh, in which input data is divided into different classes, valid or invalid values. The test cases are written according to valid and invalid classes. It helps to reduce the total number of test cases from infinite to finite. So if condition in a partition is valid, other conditions are not are also must be valid. If the condition of partition is invalid, then a condition R not must be valid. Equivalence class partition uses fewest test cases to cover maximum requirements. So these are the, this is nothing but the equivalence class partition. Second one is the boundary value analysis. Boundary value analysis testing is to process the testing boundaries between partitions of the input value and the boundary testing comes after the equivalence class partitioning. It is used to test boundaries values uh, because the input values near the boundaries have higher chances of errors. So assume that H is varied um, by any function and its minimum value is 18. So these are the examples. Then next one is the decision table technique. It is also a testing technique when uh, there is a various input combinations. Decision uh, table technique is suitable for the functions that have a logical relationship between two and more than two inputs. This technique is related to the various possible combinations of input and determined output of the uh, basis of expected condition. The condition are indicated as a true or false values. The test this testing is also called as cost effect table, where uh, cost and efforts are captured for better test coverage. So this is nothing but the decision table testing. Then last is the state transition testing. State transition testing is a black box testing technique in which when input condition changes. Uh, but it causes to change state in the application under the test. So test transition testing helps to understand behavior of an application for different input condition. So tester can provide the positive 
and negative input test values and record uh, the sub uh, system behavior. So it, uh, it is performed uh, when the tester is trying to test sequence of events. There are uh, two main uh, ways to represent the application. First one is the state transition diagram and uh, next is the state transition table. So these are the state transition testing. Next is the white box testing. <clears throat> white box testing is a software testing technique in which internal structure uh, of code are tested. Then in white box testing, uh, code is visible to tester. So it is also called as clear box testing, uh, open box testing, glass box testing, transparent box testing, then code base uh, testing, uh, code base testing or glass box testing also. So the testing can be done at a unit and integration level of software development. Then the developers perform, mm -hmm. the developer performs the white box testing and then send the application uh, or the software to the testing team. Uh, where uh, the, uh, this testing team where they will perform the black box testing. White box testing avoids appearance of bug in black box testing. <clears throat> appearance with black box testing. There are uh, uh, there are three types of white box testing. First one is the uh, statement coverage. Branch coverage and decision coverage. This is the unit testing uh, types. Your yeah, unit level testing of types. These types are uh, under the white box testing. First one is the statement statement coverage. The statement coverage is a white box testing technique in which all the exhaustive exhaustible statements in the source code are executed at least once. It is used for calculation of the number of statements in source code which have been executed. Executed. The main purpose of statement coverage is to cover all the possible paths, line, and statement in source code. So the basic uh, formula of this statement coverage is number of existing executed statement upon total number of statement into hundred. So uh, this is the statement coverage. Next is the decision coverage. Decision coverage is a white box testing technique which checks the true or false result of each Boolean expression of the program. The formula of this uh, decision coverage is the number uh, number of decision outcome exercise upon total number of decision outcome. Uh, this, this is the formula. And then next is the branch coverage. The branch coverage is a white box testing te method. Uh, and the purpose of branch coverage is, is to ensure that each decision condition uh, from every branch is executed at least once. Uh, at least once. So the uh, formula. Uh, uh, so uh, this is the nothing but the uh, decision coverage. Then next is the. Uh, integration testing types comes under the white box testing that is the top down approach then bottom up approach and the big bank approach also it is all uh, already uh, covered in previous video then next is the gray box testing gray box testing is nothing but it is a combination of uh, white box testing and uh, black box testing method Gray box testing is a software testing uh, software testing method. Uh, then gray box testing software testing technique is to test is to test a software product or uh, application with partial knowledge of internal structure of application. During uh, gray box testing, if the tester found <coughs> During the gray box testing, if tester found any bug, then he can fix it by making necessary changes uh, in a program. Then 
this this diagram it shows the gray box testing it is a combination of black box as well as gray box testing and okay thank you